welcome if you're new. My name is Fira and I am a very, very proud astrophysics major. And people actually ask me a lot about why I chose to do astro or what got me into astro. So today I thought that I'd share some of the experiences and I guess revelations that made me kind of fall in love with STEM, with science research and eventually astrophysics. So let's get right into the video. So to talk about how I found love in astrophysics, we I think we have to first talk about how I found love in like scientific research and getting that spirit of discovery. Cause when I was younger, like I've always liked science, I've always enjoyed learning them in school, but I actually never like in the past I didn't consider pursuing science as a career. I used to think that science is all about like memorizing and calculating and that everything is concrete and all that's left for us is just to learn or teach science until I was in sixth grade I think and my elementary school suggested me to join this science competition and I, it was called the Kalbe Junior Scientist Award. So at first I was like, okay, a science competition, so it must be like an Olympiad, right? Where you just like answer questions. But turns out, no, like we had to make a science experiment or a project to join. And I remember I was like, oh, a science competition that's not about answering questions? Um, like, how does that work? Uh, but in the end, I ended up joining the competition. Um, I was in a team with my younger brother. I think I was like 11 or 12 at the time. And for our project, we made like this very simple device. But um, to our surprise, we ended up progressing really far into the competitions. Like we made it into the nationals and to like the final round. And we even like won the applied technology category, which was crazy because it was like our first time joining such competitions. Um, but it was really, really cool that we got to do that. I really, really enjoyed that competition. But what I didn't immediately realize was how much of an impact that it had on me. Joining that competition and seeing the projects of other students kind of opened my eyes that, hey, this, this thing, science, it's actually kind of fun. And from this experience, I was able to see that there's this other side of science that not, that's not just about like learning, but it's also where you can like create something new and discover things. And uh, that was really exciting when I figured that out. So after that, as I progressed to like middle school and high school, I like that experience had such an impact on me that I ended up searching for more science research like competitions or events that I could participate in. Um, I remember that there's this one uh, science research competition that was held by the Center for Young Scientists Indonesia that I actually participated in for like four years in a row until like in 2017 I progressed all the way to the international round and that like opened so many doors that allowed me to like go to a bunch of other international like science events and competitions and yeah I just all of these experiences of doing research and seeing other students do research just makes me so happy having experience in research just really gave me the sense of wonder and a spirit for discovery because i realized that science is not concrete like i used to think um, it's constantly changing and there's constantly something out there waiting to be discovered something new that it's waiting to be invented and I just I thought that was really cool that there's this other side of science that I was exposed to you know so yeah basically I was so so into and so in love with like STEM and science research and at this point I think I knew that I really want to get into STEM and of course people around me also saw that but the thing is whenever someone asked me what I wanted to do or what major I'm planning to take, I never actually had an answer 
because the thing is throughout my whole research journey i never actually stuck within one category like i did physics i did environmental science i did computer science i experimented and branched out um to a bunch of different things um so i was thinking like okay i want to do stem i want to get into research but in what field i've pondered with this question for a while until one faithful day i remember i think i was like in 10th grade i was like scrolling <laughs> scrolling through harvard's list of majors because i also wanted to go to harvard at a time and i was like thinking okay what do i want to do maybe something biology related because i did also like bio but then i saw astrophysics and i was like oh astro wait what if i chose to major in astro at this time i realized that i never actually learned like astronomy in a formal setting um like it's never really included in like my high school physics classes or anything say for like the order of the planets maybe but the thing is i was kind of even though i didn't actually understood it i was reminded that i've always had this admiration towards space and the cosmos and the universe during my early childhood i grew up in this small island called madura in indonesia where electricity was often scarce and i remember that on the nights when we had like long blackouts i would feel so suffocated inside so i would always ask to go outside of our little house and you know because it's like a city-wide blackout like it was so dark so when the sky was clear like the night sky was so visible so i remember i would always just go outside and i would look at the stars and the moon and just marveled at how beautiful and majestic they were and then skip a few years i remember i was in like seventh or eighth grade i started you know watching little films or documentaries about astronomy and i remember actually that one of the people who like start started the spark like spark my love for astronomy the earliest was he was actually the host of one of the documentaries that i really like and he was alex filipenko who is like a really famous astrophysicist and astronomer and a little fun fact he's actually my professor like my astronomy professor here in uc berkeley but he was definitely one of the first people who like inspired me to start thinking about the universe and what i'm trying to say is that all of these experiences they all just kind of came rushing back to me when i saw the astrophysics major and it really made me consider like okay what if i actually did major in astro and I was like, okay, um, I may never learn astro in a formal setting before this, but you know what? I still have time to explore my curiosity. I still have time to learn. So I decided that, okay, with the time that I have now, since you know I was still in 10th grade, I still have time to like, explore. I decided that I would try following this blooming curiosity that I had towards astro and see where that might take me. From here on, after I learned that, well, I actually really like Astro, I started like re-exploring my love for Astro again. I was literally binging Crash Course Astronomy. I was reading a lot of books about Astro, watching a lot of documentaries in which I was just constantly in awe of just how vast and amazing our whole universe is. There were also some events that I got to participate in that really like sparked my love for astro even more and made me even more certain that I wanted to do astro. Um, one of them was the ASEAN astronomy camp that I got to participate in back in 2018. It was held in Chiang Mai, Thailand and oh my god it was just it was one of my favorite trips ever.
during that trip we got to learn so much about what it means to be an astronomer we did so many observations with a telescope and we learned how to use a sextant and since we like camp near the mountains i remember we just spent so many nights and early mornings just like out and about stargazing and looking at the stars and i know this will sound extremely cheesy but i was just so in love with that experience of just looking up at the skies and marveling at the stars and i just i felt like i could do this my whole life then the second opportunity that really deepened my love for astro was that through my mentor from Center for Young Scientists Indonesia, I actually got the opportunity to lead a team of students from my high school where we get to do a microgravity research experiment that was in collaboration with NASA and Quest Institute San Jose where we got the opportunity to send a research experiment to the International Space Station. Yes, yes, I know. Sometimes to this day, I still can't believe that that happened as well, but it was just so cool I'll, I'll spare you the details about our research, but I'll put a link down below um, Of the, our research that was posted on the NASA's webpage and yes, I have my name on the NASA's webpage But uh, it was just amazing and it just made me fall in love with Astro even more but now from the perspective of like space exploration and all the work that we're doing to like explore this universe because if you think about it there's literally so many things about space that we don't know so being able to participate in that research and feeling like we made a contribution albeit a small one because we were literally just high school students at the time felt so so rewarding and exciting to me and it kind of lit a fire within me that made me want to continue doing research in astro and learning more and exploring more about the universe and just contributing to like space exploration we also got to present our research in the american society for gravitational research and space meeting back in 2018 and oh my god i i really can't explain how happy i was during that time because we got to see all the other research that was going on from like other high school teams but also from like college students and like actual researchers and on that night we also like our team also received an honorable mention since we were um, since we were the only team from Indonesia and oh, I just I just can't it feels so surreal and incredible so basically after all of these experiences i was just i love astro i think astro is absolutely amazing because it didn't just you know push me to learn but it also gave me the sense of wonder and it made me so excited and it inspired to like explore and discover new things and it was finally then that i decided i want to major in astrophysics so yeah now i'm an astrophysics major here in uc berkeley and despite all the struggles like i'm really living my best life right now i am so happy that i got to learn something that i'm really passionate about and like i mentioned earlier my literal idol who inspired me to like study astro is now my professor here in uc berkeley and every single astro course that i take i just fall in love with space and the universe and astro all over again I, i'm just a very cheesy person okay deal, deal with it <laughs> Studying astro also like really changed my perspective and not just of the universe but also just about life in general. When you learn that out there there are millions of stars and galaxies and black holes, this blob of space that you live in suddenly felt much much bigger and then you realize that you are so tiny. <laughs> It's crazy how the universe is literally so vast and so endless but we are often oblivious to what's going on beyond this blue orb that we're walking on 
and I guess I really gravitated to the, towards the pursuit of astronomy because I want to be constantly reminded of these astronomical events that are going on beyond the earth. To some people, the vastness of the universe may be overwhelming, but I actually found it very humbling because what are we and what are our problems compared to the whole wide universe? Like, they are so minuscule and so finite. Meanwhile, there are like so many other things out there that are waiting to be discovered and I just want to be a part of that discovery <sighs> I just I just I love astronomy so much all right so I think I will stop talking now because I've literally been filming this for too long and I don't want to bore you anymore with more astro talk but yeah that was my story on how I followed my curiosity and discovered my passion for astrophysics before I end this video though, I do want to mention that most of the things I said in this video were probably very, very romanticized and simplified. Uh, there were definitely like lots of struggles and existential crises along the way. Um, and I also don't want to diminish the fact that astrophysics is a hard major. Um, I remember the nights where I cried over my physics midterms, but like it's so interesting, but it's also very, very challenging. And I'm literally filming this as my astro midterm is in four days, but which I'm definitely gonna grind on tonight. So there were definitely like lots of up and downs and don't think that the journey was easy because it really wasn't. Also lastly, I just want to acknowledge that I am very fortunate and I recognize that I'm very privileged to be able to pursue my interests and dreams like this. I'm aware that not everyone's circumstances were allowed them to like chase their dreams as freely and I just want to say that I am very very grateful for the opportunities that I get to like explore my interests. I also don't want anyone to feel bad if they haven't like discovered what their passions are because you know we're all going on our separate journeys and you know life is not a race and don't feel burdened that like oh I still don't know what I want to do because as long as you just keep following your curiosity and just keep doing the things that are interesting to you know that one day you too will find out what your passions are and it takes time like it's not definitely not an overnight thing so just keep um, going at it all right now this is the actual end of this video uh, because my phone is literally running out of storage and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful maybe you find it inspiring and we can inspire each other as well so yeah thank you so much for watching consider liking subscribing or leaving a comment down below and i'll see you next time goodbye